Hello, my name is Radhika Raghunathan, and I am a postdoctoral research fellow at the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. I will be discussing our research team's work on the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on children's attention and self-regulatory behavior. The COVID-19 pandemic has taken a toll on the nation's mental health. During the pandemic, families have experienced major life disruptions, including school closures, social isolation, financial hardships, loss, and grief. To date, research indicates that children are experiencing worsening emotional and behavioral problems and mental health outcomes as a result of experiencing such stressors. Developmental science has linked chronic stress exposure to poor self-regulation, one early indicator of health through the life course. Therefore, examining how the pandemic has impacted children's self-regulatory behavior could potentially be a signal for identifying worsening mental health and well-being. Children's changes in self-regulation during the pandemic has not widely been explored to date, with limited prospective work directly assessing pre-pandemic to during pandemic changes. With this in mind, we investigated changes in children's attention and self-regulatory behavior before and during the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic using prospectively collected data. We also examined the influence of parenting stress and pandemic-related daily life disruptions on children's behavior. Our sample consists of families originally participating in an intergenerational study who were recontacted from April 2020 to August 2020 and asked to fill out additional questions on their child's self-regulation and their family's experiences during the pandemic. Before and during the pandemic, parents filled out the Parent Observation of Child Adaptation Questionnaire, which asks about the frequency of self-regulation components such as attention, task engagement, and hyperactivity. Parents were also asked to complete the 10-item coronavirus impact scale, which examines the impact of the pandemic on family dynamics, routine changes, food security, access to health services, and more. Variables that were examined as covariates and or moderators of changes in children's self-regulation include child and parent characteristics and parenting stress during the pandemic. 45 families participated in our follow-up data collection. Majority of responders were mothers, self-identified as Black, reported being the primary caregiver and involved in children's virtual schooling. Children on average were seven and a half years old, the majority were girls and predominantly identified as Black and switched from in-school learning to online classes during the pandemic. We used Pearson correlation coefficients to examine associations between child self-regulatory behavior and selected covariates. Then paired t-tests and repeated measures analysis of variance were used to assess changes in children's self-regulatory behaviors and the influence of covariates and moderators. There were significant within child decreases in some aspects of children's self-regulation, such as their ability to concentrate, pay attention, learn up to one's ability, eagerness to learn, ability to work hard, and wait for one's turn when comparing pre-pandemic to during pandemic child behaviors. During the pandemic, higher levels of parenting stress were also correlated with lower child self-regulatory behaviors. About two thirds of families in our sample reported four or more pandemic related disruptions to their daily life, with the most prevalent disruptions being to routines, increased stress related to the pandemic, and access to social support. We saw that children in the households that experienced four or more pandemic-related disruptions had a significant decrease in their ability to wait their turn, comparing pre-pandemic to pandemic ratings on the right side of the graph. Children from households that experienced less than four disruptions showed no changes in ability to wait their turn. Our results highlight modest pandemic-associated decrements in child attention, task persistence, and task engagement, alongside increases in impulsivity and parental distress during the pandemic. This study also identified links between higher parenting stress and lower child self-regulation capacity during the pandemic. And finally, children from households that experienced more pandemic-related disruptions had an increase in impulsivity compared to their pre-pandemic levels. We did not find evidence of pervasive or severe impacts of the pandemic on children's self-regulation as not all aspects of children's self-regulation were impacted, which is encouraging. 
However, we conclude that identifying pandemic-related threats to children's self-regulation can still serve as an early indication of attention and impulsivity problem development, and as such should be a priority for researchers, practitioners, and educators. Proactively planning to provide coordinated support systems, especially for children whose families have been disproportionately impacted by the pandemic, will be crucial to avoid widening pre-pandemic health and educational disparities. I would like to thank all of the families in the Baltimore Generation Study for their time and participation to make this work possible. I would also like to thank the Be More Gen research team and my co-authors. Thank you.